Hello Belgrade, we all know the weather is fantastic and nobody gives a flying crap because we're all cooped up inside enjoying um, the TV, Twitter, YouTube which is fantastic since the sun is out Somebody asked me if I could go out on the balcony even, of course I can go out on the balcony Anybody can go out on their own terrace balcony, um, penthouse, uh, whatever, if you have that. I am lucky to have a balcony at least. And you know what, I'm just bitching and whining because it sucks for me personally. Of course, I'm, you know, if the tables turn and one of my loved ones um, starts needing a respirator, then this won't seem so bad after all and I won't be bitching and whining about this that because then you know suddenly it's not funny anymore of course it's not funny now but you know what I mean um, yesterday a lot of people were out um, hoarding I guess <laughs> president says you know don't hoard it you don't need to well you know if you're cooked up all weekend you kind of do need to just in case um, People were standing in line um, to the to the banks. I saw these really long lines to the banks, to Idea, to to Maxi, um, grocery stores. I'm talking about grocery stores for for those who don't know. Uh, to some pecares, which are uh, bakeries, to you know places, you know mundane places you you visit every day, basically. This is why I'm lucky I was already hoarding, you know, a little by little a few days ago because now I don't have to stand in line. I can actually just walk around in the sun, shine while people are judging me because I'm not wearing a mask. I personally don't wear a mask and I don't wear gloves because masks will give me a false sense of security and so will gloves. Gloves will make me think... Uh, if I'm not wearing gloves, I'm grossed out by my hands and I will definitely not be touching my face or anything else. And this is my, you know, this is natural for me. Outside of Corona as well, I always wash my hands as soon as I get from out, outside. Because I have... ...touching money, and money is the most disgusting... ...on earth. So, there's that. And then there's your phone, which is also even more disgusting than money. <laughs> Just FYI. And then there's, there's a lot of stuff that's disgusting that we touch all the time. Oh, since I have time now uh, to remember, there's this question I meant to address but always forgot. My boots. Somebody asked me what, um, where I got them from. They're from Army Shop in Sarajevo. I don't know if they sell them still, but you can probably find them there. They are amazing. They will hold any freaking weather, and you take my word for it. It's been raining freaking every day up in Scandinavia all winter, and I've been walking with these, and they they still look like it. they sort of look like they're unused. I've been walking through mud puddles and whatnot, and I know I have not cleaned them. There are occasionally helicopters flying around uh, over Belgrade. I don't know what they're doing. What are they checking that we are inside or something? Sorry, here I go with my bitching again. Uh, also, I wanted to give a shout out to a family friend and a childhood friend of mine. Happy birthday, Anna. Happy 40. I hope... I hope you... You know, I I would hope that you could go out in your yard, but it's seeing as it's probably way way colder and nastier wherever you are. You probably don't want to do that. Um, man, it's so quiet here. It's so so quiet. Uh, other shout-outs that I could give out are to all Serbians stuck out in other countries. I actually got a um, comment from a, somebody who is stuck in my hometown in Turku. 
Lippu Korkeel kansalainen. Um, yeah, I do feel sad for you, but you can still go out whenever you want, I guess. Unless you're over 70 or 65. I'm, I'm not sure which. And I got, um, I got a third comment from um, Serbians who've moved to Canada as well. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure hearing from you. Um, yes, I did give you a shout out here. Um, I hope you take that to heart. It was very, very kind of you um, to write to me. I'm glad. And I hope you guys are doing better in Vancouver than over here. Um, another Serbian was stuck in Ghana. Uh, another one in... Actually, I got a comment from an Indian guy who was in India, from India, but he had been in, in Belgrade last year. Shoutouts to you! Um, Swedish Serbians, Serbians, Danish Serbians, Serbians from all over the world. Man, you guys travel a lot. What's wrong with Belgrade? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, what can I say? I mean, this just goes to prove. I mean, this is not a... Belgradian Serbian thing, this COVID thingy. It's a international thing. To anybody who is worried about, oh my God, you're stuck in this country. You are stuck in yours. 